Hi friends, this is Nageshwar. Welcome to my channel ITBot 143. In this tutorial, I will show how to write down a foreground to print Fibonacci series using recursion in Turbo C++. Fibonacci series is a series of numbers in which each number is the sum of the two preceding numbers. In example, we have the Fibonacci sequence where first two digits are equal to one and after that each number is equal to the sum of the two preceding numbers. Now come to Turbo C++ for writing a program code. First I want to show you a message for the user to enter the input value which states how many numbers in the Fibonacci series have to print. enter a number after that for user defined values scanf percentage d and before this we need to define a variable int n and similarly I want to define two more variables f1 and f2 here in Fibonacci sequence I have two digits one and one so here I'm taking the reference values f1 equal to one and f2 equal to one now come to scanf here we need to assign the address of that input value i want to print f1 and f2 values in the terminal printf percentage d and percentage d f1 f2 and now let's declare, declare the function int f1 comma int f2 int n here I have declared the function with the parameters f1 f2 and n and it will take f1 f2 and n value from the main foreground and it will pass this value to the defined function now for defining the function white pip int f1 int f2 int n here I want to define a variable to store the Fibonacci series numbers Intf. Now for finding the Fibonacci series, I will use if else statement with the following condition. If n equal to 2 because I have already printed two digits in the terminal. In this n that is the value given from by the user will be substituted in the condition. And if it is satisfied, it will exit from the function if it is not satisfied it will come to else and as per the definition Fibonacci series is the series of numbers in which each number is the sum of the two preceding numbers so I will write 
f equal to f1 plus f2 here it will substitute f1 and f2 values and the resulting value will be stored in f after executing the above logic it need to be printed in the terminal by printf slash d and percentage d and the value of f now to get the new f1 and f2 reference values for finding the next digit i will make f1 equal to f2 and in f2 i will store the value of f and after that again the function will be called itself f1 comma f2 and it will decrease the n value after that close this after finishing the code we need to call the function f1 comma f2 comma n and after that get ch and close this after finishing the code we need to compile this by pressing alt f9 and here it is showing four errors Oh, declaration syntax error okay here I forgot to keep semicolon and after that previous screen again alt of nine now I got zero one x and zero errors now let's save this file while running this program it will take the input value from the user and it will print the two digit numbers by using printf command after that it will call the function and in function it will check the condition in if statement with the value given by the user if it satisfies it will exit from the function if not it will come to else statement and find out the sequence numbers using logic now let's run this program here I'm entering 10 numbers and I got Fibonacci series sequence okay so like this we can write a program to print Fibonacci series by using recursion in Turbo C++. I hope this video will help in your practice. If you like this video, please click on like button and please share this video with your friends. And please visit my channel ITBird143 to watch more latest updated videos. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you friends. Have a nice day.